Good morning. It's just after nine o'clock on Friday the 8th of March and here I am at Sandy Bay which is an area to the north of Western Supermare and I was here yesterday I came up here in the camper van with the intention of leaving the van here walking into Western Supermare and getting a bus back but the wind was so bitterly cold and strong and it was threatening rain that I only walked about 200 yards and abandoned the idea and uh, so I'm starting again this morning but doing it the other way around where I've parked the van in the town of uh, Western Supermare and caught the bus, the number one bus, the 835, I think they run every hour out here to Sandy Bay and what a dis sort of a distant desolate place it is really and uh, there's an awful lot of kind of holiday homes and temporary homes and uh, people living here permanently there's, it's a real mix and match I think of uh, holiday camps, chalets and everything else and uh, there's a beach but it's not much of a beach but you know whatever turns you on uh, don't misunderstand me but it's certainly well away from from everything really it's, it seems a bit, quite a strange sort of place to me so my intention today is a lot more structured than it was yesterday I know I spoke on the film when I was at uh, yesterday's film when I was at Tesco's and I wanted to have a breakfast there but they don't do breakfast at that particular one so I had to do a breakfast in the back of the van which is why I was talking from the back of the van but I've left the van alone today where I was running about yesterday in it um, and it was the same when I the, the, there's, there's bits of the film that you didn't see as an example where I walked over the bridge on the M5 all the way down to Portishead but I had to walk all the way back to, to get the van to, to bring it round and so yesterday's film was a, a bit of a mix and match really of, of, of all sorts of bits and pieces and, and I knitted it together as best I could in as orderly fashion as possible but it was a real run around and a real mess around with buses and picking the van up and stuff like that and I knew it would be like that uh, today is going to be much easier all I've got to do is walk back into Western Supermare and pick the van up and I've got to do that before midday because the, the weather forecast is for rain it's very cold this morning there's a very bitter wind and I know when I got out of bed this morning it was only three four degrees so it's so there wasn't much of a, uh, a cloud cover last night whereas the cloud has definitely moved in now and it looks like we're gonna have rain so it's about five miles from here to Western Supermare so I expect that's going to take me a couple of hours so that will give me a little bit of time to spare before the rain starts and hopefully I'll be able to do something this afternoon and plan out a route down to Burnham on Sea and Highbridge and see about maybe moving down there and using the buses from that end but all of that will be revealed later so here we go
45 now and I'm doing okay. Just had a look at the old pier which apparently parts of it fell into the sea about five years ago and it's been crumbling away and there's all kinds of restoration funds and people want to rebuild it and all that kind of stuff. I was just talking to a taxi driver who was I was just about to say to him will you tell me all those things to camera because he's a really interesting bloke he was from London a real sort of East Ender he said, would you do it to camera for me? So he says, yeah, no problem. We got all set up and then his phone rang and he got a job. So that was the end of that. That was unlucky. Because he was a cracking book as well, but never mind. But I've done, I don't know, I've probably done about three miles to get to here. And uh, I'm right on the kind of outskirts of the town centre now. So uh, I might have a bit more to show you. There is the, the proper pier, which is open. And I'll, I'll go for a walk on that and show you that. It looks pretty good. But uh, it's pretty cold this morning. There's a real nip in the air and I'm walking into the wind. And uh, I had a nice cup of tea at the New Castle, uh, the, uh, which was a lovely place. It was a lovely cup of tea as well. Um, but it's an interesting walk, this. It's a really interesting walk. Some really funny things happening. And uh, you know, I'm enjoying it.
If I'm to be honest with you, uh, I paid a pound to go and have a look at that and a uh, complete waste of a pound if I'm to be honest. I know some people like amusement arcades and the kids like all these different things and you know some people are addicted to the machines and all that kind of stuff, definitely not for me. And that was just like any kind of amusement arcade but on a massive, massive scale that I've ever seen. I'm sure there's a lot more to the place and uh, it was built in 2010 apparently. I seem to remember the original one from many many years ago when I came here but looks as if they built this on, on top of the, the old foundations but uh, they made a hell of a good job of it. It looks really really nice but as I say I can imagine in the summer it'll be heaving on when it's raining and things like that but uh, definitely not for me. I know the one that they have in Pleethorpes, which is attached to Grimsby, as I'm sure you know. That was all rebuilt and everything, and uh, they've opened it now as a fish and chip shop, which uh, didn't go down too well. But uh, some people think it's a brilliant idea, and a lot of the regular traders think it uh, should never have happened. But, you know, these things happen. Well, it's started to rain now. It's 12 o'clock actually. The BBC forecast was that it would start raining at 12 o'clock. And I've just looked at my uh, rain app and uh, it, it's also saying it's gonna start at 12 o'clock. So, so I'm just gonna have a, go and have a cup of tea and see what happens with the weather. And if, uh, if things stay pretty much as they are, I can probably get quite a long way up the coast by the end of this afternoon. So I'll just go and have a break and uh, and I'll be back. Do you know, I've got to admit that leaving the van where I just did was very handy where as I'm walking along I can pop in and have a cup of tea and a nice bacon sandwich and it doesn't cost me well, it cost me what it cost me, but it's not like paying two pounds for a cup of tea and a cafe and like four quid now for a bacon sandwich at a lot of these places. It's ridiculous. But uh, it's not very often I get the opportunity of doing that, but it was really nice to take the opportunity, if you understand what I mean.
Hi, well it's just after 4.30 and as you've seen I've pulled onto a campsite at Breen and uh, it's called, let me just have a check here, it's called Northern Farm and I'll tell you what, it's a fantastic place and it was recommended to me actually by the lady um, at the boatyard where I was when I was at Uphill before I caught the bus back to um, back again to Western Supermare. So I got the van, drove up here straight away and I've got to say this, the, the lady at Uphill uh, looked a really nice sight, I would have been quite happy to stay there. I'm glad I didn't actually because you couldn't get a phone signal but she wanted 25 quid a night. Now okay that's fair enough that's her rates but this this other place that i've come to it's it's only 15 and and that makes a big difference i don't see why as i've got a, i've got a van yeah i've gone to campsites and all the rest of it um, and i'm on my own now she's expecting me to pay for two people when she's charging me 25 pounds i had this similar situation last week uh maybe two weeks ago uh where just because I've got like a, a two-seater van doesn't mean to say that I'm going to pay for two people. Like I wouldn't go into a hotel and, and uh, expect to have to pay for a double bedroom with a double bed if I was on my own. Same thing. But anyway, I'm going to. I'm not going to bang on, but it does. It really. You, I find it quite amazing how you come across some of these situations, um, and, and I just wonder why people won't won't charge me because I'm I'm on my own it's better to get 12.50 off me than nothing isn't it because I'm not going to pay 25 and, and loads of people say the same why don't they understand anyway I'll show you the campsite in the morning and uh, it's looking uh, it's looking great and they've got they've got a bar they've got a restaurant they've got everything here it's amazing absolutely amazing and we're in just in March it's incredible See you tomorrow.